maths question can include a mixture of operations. So in this example, uh, 3 plus 22 times 3 subtract 14. So in this question, we've got but some addition, we've got a multiplication, and we've got a subtraction. And you might think that you'll start, you know, a good way of doing this would be for starting from the left and working your way to the right. So add 3 plus 22 together, then multiply the result by 3, and then finally subtract 14. But in maths, there are not all operations are equal. You've got to do them in a particular order. So in this example, you would start with the multiplication first. That takes priority over addition and subtraction. So you would solve that first. So you do, you do the 22 multiplied by 3 first. So let's just do that now. 22 times by 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's 66. So you'd rewrite this question uh, with, with, with 22 multiplied by 3 solved. So 3 plus 22 times 3, which is 66 take away 14. And the next step, you, the addition takes priority over the subtraction. So you do the 3 plus 66 first, or you do that next. Um, so 3 plus 66 is 69. And then you take away the 14. And, that's the, and that would be the final sum that you would do. 69 take away 14. 9 take away 4 is equal to 5. 6 take away 1 is 5. So that's equal to 55. So we started by doing the multiplication first. That was the first thing we did uh, because that takes precedence over addition and subtraction. The second operation we did was the addition, and then finally we did the subtraction. So BODVAS is an acronym that helps us to work out which operations to do first. So the B is for brackets. So that's the first thing you do is um, complete any, solve all of any of the brackets in a, in a question. I'll come back to the O in a minute. The D is your uh, sub, uh, division. The M stands for multiplication. Uh, and then the A is the addition. And S is subtraction. The O stands for other. And it includes things like um, two, a, a square or a cube of a number or the square root of a number, etc. So the order in which you would carry out, um, you would, the order in which you would solve a question would be complete the, um, the the brackets first, solve the brackets first, then do any squares, cubes, or square roots, then do the division, followed by the multiplication, then the addition, and then the subtraction. So I'm going to work through a series of examples to show you how you can um, use the this BODMAS acronym and uh, solve the questions in the right order. I'll leave the acronym in the top right hand corner as a, as a reminder as we work through the examples. We'll start with some simple ones and we'll work our way up to more complicated uh, questions. So a really easy one, two plus three times two. So if we look across <coughs> at our acronym, the first operator that we've got, the first operation that we've got is the M multiplication. That takes precedence over addition. So we're going to do the multiplication first in this example. So 3 times 2 is 6. So we rewrite the question 2 plus 6, and that's quite easy. The answer is 2 plus 6 is 8. Let's do another one. <clears throat> 11 take away 3 multiplied by 3. And again, we'll do the multiplication first because multiplication takes precedence over subtraction. So we'll start with the multiplication first. So that this, this question becomes 11 take away 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 11 take away 9 is 2. There's our answer. OK, let's move on and do a slightly more complicated one. 2 plus 8 divided by 4. So we've got two operators, add and divide. Divide takes precedence over addition, which comes second. So we'll do the divide first. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we end up with 2 plus, sorry, 12 plus 2, which is equal to 14. I'm just going to keep going through these examples <clears throat> and show you how we use bottom mass in practice. 4 multiplied by 12 divided by 6. So we've got a divide and a multiply. Divide 
comes before multiply here. So this will be 12 divided by 6. We'll do that first. So how many 6s in 12? 2. So we end up with 4 times 2, which is 8. Now I'm going to introduce some brackets in our questions. So how about this one? 5 add 3 multiplied by 4. So a bracket comes first before addition. So we do the we solve the what's in the brackets first. So 5 plus 3 is 8, and then we multiply that by 4. We end up with 8 times 4, which is equal to 32. Now let me <clears throat> add some divide and tick away in, in the same um, equation. 30 divided by 2 take away 18 divided by 3. So we've got divide and we've got uh, take away. That's not very well written. Divide and take away. Divide takes precedence over subtraction. So we'll, we'll do the divide first. So how many 2s in 30? 15. How many 3s in 18? 6. And we still have that take away there. So 15 take away 6 is equal to 9. Do another one. This time again with brackets 3. And then inside the brackets, we'll have 7 plus 2. Now, this is an interesting one because whenever you see um, something in brackets with a number outside it, that's actually that number outside the brackets is going to multiply, will be multiplied by the contents uh, once you've solved the contents of that bracket. So that's actually three times than whatever is inside that bracket. So we'll do the bracket first. 7 plus 2 is 9. And so we end up with 3 times 9. And 3 9s are 27. Let me do a couple of more bracket ones. So I will, how about this one, 5. And then inside the brackets we'll have 6, take away 4. So as I said before, there's really a multiply there. So we will solve the bracket first because bracket comes first. And then we'll do the multiply um, afterwards as a second step. So... 6 take away 4 is 2, so we end up with 5 times 2, and 5 twos are 10. Next one, I'm going to make it a bit more complicated inside the brackets. So I'll have, um, I don't know, 10 take away 2 multiplied by 3 inside the brackets. So we're going to start with the brackets first, because Bodmas tells us we've got to do the brackets first. Then inside the bracket, we've got uh, a subtraction and a multiplication. Multiplication takes precedence over subtraction, so we'll do the multiply first. So we'll rewrite this, so it'll be 2, and then inside the brackets it'll be 2, 10, 2 times 3, which is 6, and we're still left with a 10 take away 6. And now we'll solve the rest of the, um, the, the the remaining operation inside the brackets, which is 10 take away 6, that gives us 4, so that becomes 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. The reason why I'm timesing here, again, as I said before, um, when you have a digit outside the bracket, that's actually multiply. You want to multiply that number with whatever is inside the, uh, the bracket. 21 take away 3, and then 4 take away 1. <clears throat> so here we're going to uh, start with the brackets first, because brackets come first. So 4 take away, I remember that this is, there's actually a multiply here. So you're multiplying the 3 with the contents of the bracket. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll rewrite this, but with the 4 take away 1 solved. So 4 take away 1 is 3. Uh, we're going to multiply that by 3 because I was outside the bracket and the rest of it is still there. So we now ended up with 21 take away 3 times 3. So we've got to subtract and a multiply. Multiply takes precedence because multiply, because multiply comes before subtraction. So it'll be 3 3s and 9. We've still got that 21 there, 21 take away 9. So we now solve this one. 21 take away 9 is 12. OK, here's another one. Minus 8, minus 2, plus 7, minus, minus 4. This is an interesting one because we've got two minuses together. Now, there's a there's a rule. So, well, before I go on about that, uh, we're going to solve the, what's in the brackets first. So we'll start with this bracket here on the left. Minus 8 and minus 2 will give us, um, minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10. Plus, and now we're going to solve what's inside the second bracket here, which is 7 minus minus 4. Now, there's a rule in, in, in maths where 
if you've got two minuses together, then that is equal to, that is the same as, we change that to a plus. So minus and a minus is always a plus. So what we're going to do is we'll replace what's inside here. Because the two minuses together, we'll replace that with a plus. So it becomes 7 plus 4. So we solve the, the, uh, the second bracket, it's 7 plus 4, which is equal to 11. And then minus 10 plus 11 is equal to plus 1. Let's do another one. This time I've I haven't used anything that uses this um, other operator here. So let's let's put one in there that does that. So let's take 16 um, multiplied by 12 plus 1. Now here we've got to start with the brackets first because brackets comes first. So we solve the 12 plus 1 first. 12 plus 1 is 13, and then we're still left with the 16, the square root of 16. So it's square root of 16 times 13. The next, oper next operator is the, is the other, which is uh, the square root. So the square root of 16 is 4, because 4 fours are 16. So we end up with 4 times 13. And that is equal to 4 threes are 12. 1 to carry, 4, one to 4 plus 1 is 5. So that's 52. So the answer is 52. <laughs>